Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Josh Williams from the Western Dakota Tech Business and Technology Program. And today, myself, Matt, and Gaylor are going to share some pretty amazing examples of how one company is given back to communities around the globe. That company is Coca-Cola. Through their foundation, they're making the world a better place for millions of people. Um, Gaylor is going to share some insight into the Coca-Cola Foundation and how that started. And from there, Matt's going to expand on that and tell you a little bit about their partner organization known as the Coca-Cola Africa Foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and let Gaylor take it from here and tell you a little bit about how this foundation started. The Coca-Cola Foundation fund in 1984 with the mission of our roadmaster with our mission which is enduring. It declared our purpose as a company and serve as the standard against which we weigh our action and decisions. To refresh the world, to inspire moments of optimize and happiness, and to create value and make a difference. The Coca-Cola Foundation awarded a total of 26 million US dollars in grants to 74 community organization in the first half of 2015. The Coca-Cola company care sustainability priorities of women, water, and well-being. These grant support programs that will directly benefit 90 million people across 75 countries. The foundation awarded 2.3 million to support women empowerment, 9.3 million to support water and environment, 12.2 million to support well-being including action, healthy living, education, youth development, and HIV, AIDS, and 1 million to support other community improvement. And just to give a little uh perspective on how much the Coca-Cola Foundation is really giving through these initiatives since the uh, time of its inception in 1984 and up through 2017 the Coca-Cola Foundation has donated or granted out 820 million dollars to enhance the sustainability of communities worldwide the Coca-Cola Foundation has a branch called the Coca-Cola Africa Foundation, which was established in 2001, currently has donated $106 million plus dollars over 200 countries, and the Coca-Cola Africa Foundation is an African community foundation in response to growth and impact of the HIV pandemic in 2002 the foundation in africa based coca-cola bottlers established the most intensive employee health care program from hiv aids and related conditions in africa since 2007 the coca-cola africa foundation have invested more than seven million dollars to implement health initiatives in 19 countries across africa the coca-cola africa foundation has committed over $22 million in several humanitarian assistance interventions in 17 countries throughout Africa in partnerships with four other non-governmental organizations. Through partnering with some of those local grassroots and non-governmental organizations, the Coca-Cola Africa Foundation was really able to expand into different areas and really expand their reach. Um, they partnered with a lot of those grassroots organizations to go into their next kind of flagship program, which was the Replenish Africa Initiative, which is also known as RAIN. And in 2009, they pledged $30 million to bring access to safe drinking water to 2 million Africans by the year 2015. And then when the year 2015 came around, they went ahead and doubled down on that and committed another $35 million to bring access to safe water and sanitation to another 4 million Africans. So totaling 6 million people enriched by those initiatives by the year 2020. 
And with these funds, they're going to be able to not only bring safe access to water to 6 million people, but also they're going to be able to economically empower up to 250,000 women and youth, promote health and hygiene in thousands of communities and schools and health centers. But they're also going to be returning 18 and a half billion liters of water to nature and communities. One of the other great things that they're doing through these initiatives and through working with the United Nations Millennium Development Goals is they are able to attract big name companies to meet them in a dollar for dollar match funding through 2020. So they're really doing some big things. Through all of this charitable work that the uh, Coca-Cola Foundation does, one of the things they're able to do is keep their brand completely out there in the spotlight. Everybody knows that soda, Coca-Cola, and any other soda companies is not exactly the most healthy choice for you, but it kind of gets thrown to the side because it gives them a chance to really boost up their image. And this is kind of where small business owners, I think, can take some notes from Coca-Cola's playbook and use that societal marketing aspect to, the, to their own advantage. So if you're a small business owner and you're looking for ways to build up your own brand awareness, or kind of boost up your own image, I don't think you need to look much further than your own local community. You can do some research on charitable causes in your area. You can find out which ones your local community is most passionate about, and then just find a way to get involved. You could uh, host a fundraiser, you can organize some sort of a charity event, or even if you have the means to, even put together some sort of an outreach program. And if you team up with some like-minded people, the cost to you can actually be quite minimal but the exposure for your business can be career changing. So not only are you gonna be doing something good for your community and your society, hopefully in the end, you'll see your business grow and grow and grow. So it's kind of a win-win situation. So if you're a small business owner or a new business owner, you do yourself well to educate yourself on the finer art of societal marketing and not only do some right by your fellow men and women and children, but also help boost up that business. Yeah, so uh, societal marketing 101, kids. Hope you enjoyed. Get out there and do something.